All right, so let's take a look at that problem. Hopefully you did all right on it. So what we're missing here is two parts really of our triangle that we're given. We want to say that this is a, or it's given that it is a tangent line. So X, Y is tangent, which means that R and that tangent line are a right, forming a right angle, which means we have a right triangle here. But our hypotenuse of a right triangle is also missing a part to it, and that is another radius. So we can use Pythagorean theorem to solve for the radius. So remember, Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equal to c squared when your right triangle has legs a and b and a hypotenuse of c. <clears throat> In this case, our legs are r and the 42. And our hypotenuse is r plus 36. Now we need to go ahead and simplify this down. So we're going to need to square the 42 and square r plus 36. Now, whenever you're squaring a binomial, we'll square the 42 here in a moment, <clears throat> there's a, a trick to squaring a binomial. You can square the first term, so r squared. You multiply the two terms together, so r times 36, and then double that. 36 times 2 is 72, so it's 72r. And then you square the last term, 36. So now we have these things that are some pretty large numbers that are squared. So we need to go ahead and deal with those. So squaring 42 is going to get us 1,764. And on the other side, we have our r squared plus 72r, and 36 squared is 1,296. So now we need to move all our r's to the same side of the equation. So we're going to subtract an r squared from both sides. And by doing so, we end up eliminating both r squareds, which is going to make our lives just that much easier because now we just have the 72r to deal with. So we have 1,764 equal to 72r plus 1,296. So we need to subtract 1,296 from both sides. And we get 468 equal to 72R. And now all we have to do is divide by 72 on both sides and we have our final answer. R comes out to be 6.5. And we do have a unit here. And that is feet. Don't forget your units. Those are important. So hopefully you got something similar to this. But it was pretty complex to have to deal with that R being there twice. And then if you didn't get it, that's okay. Just use this to help guide you. Take a look at this next problem.